So, uh, hi folks. So this is the last piece of today's session where we are going to learn how to discover and install agents inside Copilot Studio. Now, in the we are in the agent of uh, agent era, and Copilot is evolving as a UI for AI. Now, soon every employee will be having a a Copilot that knows them and their work, and the users can use these Copilots to enhance their productivity. Now, Copilot Studio is the low-code tool you will be using to build agents and to automate business processes. And finally, we have a set of agents that is offered inside Copilot Studio and also available in my, my M365 Copilot. Now, if you uh, to name a few, so if you are already part of Copilot Studio and if you have logged into Copilot Studio, you can see a bunch of agents that's offered by Microsoft. And uh, to name a few, this is the employee self service um, agent. Uh, this is the leave uh, management agent, and you have factory operations agents, you have the store operations agents, and so on. Now, in the next 10 minutes, what I'm going to show you is as an IT administrator, when I come to Copilot Studio Marketplace, I can do four things. I can discover all agents in one place, whether the agents are offered by Microsoft for you to use, or it is built by ISVs and partners and made it available for through Copilot Studio for you to use. And then you can discover the agents based on their industry or search keywords, and you would be able to search them and then discover them. And then the next thing is, okay, hey, once you have uh, discovered an agent, now you want to get into the installation journey where we, we are providing a guided experience for you to go ahead and install the agent. And not, not uh, but not the least, but once you install the agent, we all know that the agents are, it's not like, you know, one size fits all. You would need to go ahead and do the customizations, tailor the agents for your business processes and business scenarios. And if you are a, as an admin, IT administrator, you can bring value to this installation by tailoring this agent with pre-built extensions. So that's what we'll be covering in this uh, fourth section. Now, before getting into that uh, demo, um, I'll be covering two personas. One is as an IT administrator at Conto. So how am I going to come to Copilot Studio and install the agent? And then I'll wear the hat of an end user and see, OK, how can I leverage these agents and use the agents for my personal productivity? I uh, hope you can see my screen here. So if I am um, uh, a maker, uh, an IT administrator, when I come to the Copilot Studio create page, so this is uh, considered uh, to be the, the marketplace for uh, low code uh, agents. Now, if I'm an administrator and come to this page, I would can see a list of uh, managed agents offered by Microsoft as well as ISVs and partners. Uh, and then I can go ahead and uh, pick an agent and start doing the installation. Now, these are all app source packages provided by the um, published by the, the distributors package uh, owners and distributed externally in app source. Now I can come to Copilot Studio, come to the create page, which is my marketplace, and I can discover these agents and I can go ahead and install. Now, some agents uh, installations are a multi-step process. So in this case, the Copilot for Finance is a multi-step process. And uh, in, uh, you know, if I look for uh, take some other agent like employee self service, it's a it's a simple installation experience which contains only a single step. Now, me as an administrator, I get the ability to review the connections and configurations associated with the agent. I have the opportunity to change those those configurations before I do the install, and these configurations are going to to influence the behavior of the agent post install. OK, and uh, if I take an example of uh, so employee self service, this is kind of a, a single uh, step install process. Uh, however, uh, this is going to um, have, a, um, you know, this this agent comes with a pre built extensions built um, for leveraging uh, the, uh, you know, for to benefit the IT administrators or HR, um, you know, um, 
executives or even uh, legal and sila things which you know which i can extend post install so for this uh, demo i'm going to choose the employee self service as the agent that i would like to install and then i click install now since as i said this is a single step uh, installation experience um the installation uh, so starts right away now at this step either i can wait for this install to complete because it's going to take uh, one or two minutes to complete or i can go ahead and close this agent and the installation will continue behind the scenes asynchronously and once this install is complete i can see the the agent uh, uh, installation status as part of the tile itself to save time i'm just going to skip to the next uh, uh, tab where the agent is already installed so once installed you will see that uh, you know the agent uh, is installed i can either open the agent by you know clicking the tile click the open or i can go to the uh, agents page and directly you know uh, select the agent from the uh, list of agents that's available to me now the next part so now that you know we discovered uh, and then we installed now it's it's time for us to customize now as an it administrator when i come to the overview page scroll down uh, there is a section called customize and this is the place where i can go ahead and see the list of um, pre built extensions that are available uh, for this agent okay so today there is only one uh, um, pre built extension available but soon this will be the place where i can see a list of um, pre-built extensions and me as an IT administrator I can pick and choose which uh, agent uh, um, you know pre-built extension is required for my business scenario and then I can go ahead and add say for example if this employee self service is agent is um, built to answer your HR questions your IT questions and your uh, say legal questions probably there are three different extensions available to you and you as an organization if you are dealing only with hr related stuff not with it or legal you don't need to install those additional packages you just go ahead and install only the the package that is uh, that is comes with the uh, hr capabilities you go ahead and install okay so in this case there is only one thing available i'm going to install this now this once again goes through the same installation wizard experience that we have uh, that we um, saw for the agents now this is a two step process here um because you know it needs to connect it to either to the local um, um you know data store or uh, in this case if you are if you are um, agent is dealing with the external data source like you know sap success factors or something else then of course you need to make a connection and this connections and configurations are already comes along with the uh, pre built extension pack itself now if the connections are say incorrect this is the right time for me to you know go ahead and change the connections uh, and then go ahead and install now i'm going to fix the connection here because i know it is broken A demo. Oh, I forgot to you know scroll down and click create. Uh, that's my mistake. So it's okay. We can go ahead and uh, uh, enter this information here. So username and let me re-enter the password. Yeah, I need to scroll down and click create. That was missing in the previous step. So once these connections are set, uh, then the next button appears. I can go ahead and uh, do the installation. This installation once again has been kicked in. I don't need to wait on this page because it's going to take uh, one or two minutes for this installation to complete. At this stage, either I can go go ahead and uh, close this window, and the installation will continue behind the scenes, or I can wait for the installation to complete, and then I will see an open uh, screen, or it will nav navigate me to the uh, details page. Now, assume that you know I have uh, um, you know installed it, and the installation is complete. Now I will be navigated to the uh, the pre-built extensions 
details page where you can see the list of components that are associated to this pre-built package. OK, so this is the the um, experience for an IT administrator. Now, after this, um, you know, makers can go ahead and customize this agent like any other agent. You can go ahead and publish it to M365 uh, Copilot. Now, once this, this is made available to end users, what I can do here is um, as an end user, I will see employee self-service agent in the left now, in the right nav of my, um, you know, Copilot. Uh, whether it, I'm opening an Office Copilot or a Teams Copilot or a or a, you know a Windows Copilot, doesn't matter because we are publishing uh, to the M365 Copilot, which is the common surface area for all these Copilots. Now I can see the uh, my agent. I can launch my agent. I can ask a question to my agent. So since I uh, installed the HR um, vertical, I'm going to ask a question, hey, what is the parental leave policy I should refer to? And it's going to give me the, the parental leave policy that you know Microsoft offers me um, as an employee. Yep, so I got the leave, um, you know, parental uh, leave policy details and also I have uh, links uh, which can help me, um, you know, learn more about it. So that's it uh, about uh, this demo. Uh, going back, to our um, uh, section, a quick recap on what we did. So what we did is we went to Copilot Studio as an IT administrator. I can go ahead and discover a set of um, agents and I can install the agents if I'm an administrator, but not for other uh, uh, personas. And then uh, I can I went ahead and installed the employee self service agent using the install button that is available to me. And then once I installed, I not only installed the agent, but I also installed an, a pre-built extension pack that is available for my HR agent. Uh, and then I customized it. And then I used that uh, agent inside, um, you know, M365 Copilot. So that's it, uh, uh, friends. So, so thank you. Uh, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the demo. And uh, thank you for uh, staying connected with the community. Thank you.